wanted to talk about uh, fentanyl. I mean, I'm from Wyoming. You'd think, well, how much fentanyl could be going there is not close to the border. But every state is a border state. Well, Wyoming has seen ac an astronomical increase in the amounts of death related to fentanyl. Uh, our Division of Criminal Investigation just in 2020 seized about 1,600 dosage units. This past year, 13,000 units. So a 13 mm -hmm fold increase in, in just a couple, of, and that was only for three quarters of the year. So, so what can we be doing more to, to work with the government of Mexico to stop the importation of, of fentanyl precursors from China? Senator, I could not agree with you more. I think this is um, among the top, if not the top, challenges that we face. As you know uh, well, uh, the single biggest killer of Americans aged 18 to 49 is fentanyl, synthetic opioids. Uh, and uh, we seized last year enough fentanyl to kill every American. So this is right at the top of the list. So just a, a few things. I think we, we have a comprehensive approach to this problem. Obviously, there's work that we're doing at home just to protect our own people in terms of uh, trying to reduce demand, treatment, uh, antidotes, et cetera. But what is critical are a, a few things. First, uh, border security in, in, in itself. We have the technology that is being deployed uh, more effectively now to the border uh, to much better detect the fentanyl that's coming into the United States from Mexico. 96% of it is coming through uh, ports of entry. Uh, the screening technology that's being deployed, that will make a difference. Uh, we're working with Mexico to disrupt the, uh, the cartels. Mexico has actually taken, with our support, significant action uh, to arrest uh, and to disrupt uh, the uh, cartels, the criminal enterprises that are engaged in this, uh, to shut down the labs, uh, to uh, go after the leaders. And then, at the same time, there's another aspect of this problem that goes uh, beyond Mexico. One of the challenges, and it goes to China, among other countries, uh, one of the challenges is the diversion of licit precursors into the illicit production of fentanyl. There is a lot that we are doing to try to rally the world to deal with this problem. And so, for example, voluntary agreements among countries and companies, because the private sector is critical, to share information, to better label products, to make sure that you know your customer when you're shipping a chemical that's legal, but then is being diverted. All of these things are making a difference. For the very first time, I just came from the G20 foreign ministers meeting. For the first time, the United States got this on the G20 agenda. This is important because those countries, the wealthiest economies in the world, are the very ones, along with their private sectors, that can make a big difference. We're putting all of this together. We have, with the Mexicans, a uh, joint synthetic drug action plan that we agreed to last year that is intensely focused on synthetic opioids notably fentanyl. By the way, one of the other things that's happening, I'll, I'll, I'll be quick, is the Mexicans themselves are feeling the brunt of this, which is to say not only have they been a, a country where this is being uh, made in and, and shipped through, but more and more Mexicans, unfortunately, are falling victim to synthetic opioids. So their feelings, I've spoken to President Lopez Obrador about this directly. He's seized with this. We are doing a lot in partnership with them to disrupt, to take these cartels down. Let me just end with this, Mr. Chairman, and may put this to you in writing. But last week, the U.S. Border Patrol, because you mentioned mm -hmm. border security, the Border Patrol Chief uh, Ortiz testified before a House Homeland Security Committee hearing in McAllen, Texas. He was pointedly asked whether or not the Department of Homeland Security had operational control of the border. And the chief of the U.S. Border Patrol said, no, sir. So thank you. That's the only thing I'd just add, if I could, Senator, is just in the case of fentanyl, I'm not speaking to the larger issue. Uh, what we really have to bear down on, and I think, uh, it's not my director of expertise, but based on uh, what I know, on the, on the border itself, as I said, about 95% of this is coming through the legal ports of entry. It's being smuggled in through those ports, not at points along the border. We do have technology that's much uh, more effective uh, than we've had to be able to detect it. You know, it's being, it's under the seats of cars. Uh, we've, been there. Yeah, we've, all, we've all had yeah. the tour and seen what they've described. Th yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.